Hello world and welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Mass Effect Blind. My name is Kelthos and in the last episode it was kind of a boring episode which I'm sorry about but we spent the majority of the episode walking around the the ship and learning more about the species and this world in general and the ships and then we made it here and we were just about to set foot on Neveria when I had to go so in this episode we're going to continue on and see where we can go from here. So here we go. Um, nobody really seemed to respond to my question about whether or not I should replay this in the in the Legendary Edition and continue from there and just go from 1, 2, and 3 onward or not. And they didn't let me know if the save file switches over and I won't, wouldn't have to do that and I could continue from where I'm at or anything like that but um, I did, wouldn't think I would be able to because this is the PC version and the version that I the legendary version I got on um, PS4 so I don't think it would switch but anyway since nobody responded I'm just going to continue playing in this version and if you guys really want me to do that just let me know whenever you guys want to or if you guys even care so here we go that's far enough <clears throat> uh, can I help you something wrong officer you better hope there isn't this is an unscheduled arrival I need your credentials I'm with the council I'm a specter my name is Shepard Load of horse crap, ma'am. We what? will need to confirm that. Also, I must advise you that firearms are not permitted on Novaria. Sergeant Sterling, secure their weapons. Uh, no. Why did we have to pull them out? We could have just said no. Citadel Authority supersedes yours. Yeah, easy people. Let's not start a fight. If you think this is best, Commander. I don't Captain think Captain Matsuo, best. stand down! We confirmed their identity. Spectres are authorized to carry weapons here, Captain. You may proceed, Spectre. I hope the rest of your visit will be less confrontational. They will Pirates be as long as you guys aren't as assholes to us. Behave yourself. Dicks. Anyway. Fancy. What is this? Nothing? And of course we can't go that way. Probably can't go this way either, but we'll see. No, we cannot. There's people up here. Can we speak to them? No, we cannot. Fun. What are those little things? I want to don't. I want to know. Weapons detectors. Don't mind the alarms. Okay. I am Gianna Parasini, assistant to Administrator Analeas. We apologize for the incident in the docking bay. Thanks for getting us through. We're in a hurry. Yeah, real friendly. Uh, thanks for getting I us through. I appreciate your help. You're welcome. <clears throat> you understand our security chief was only doing her job. One yeah, of my duties is orientation of new arrivals. Do you have any questions? Uh, why so many guards? Pretty heavy security for such a small port. The executive board does everything in its power to protect the privacy of our client corporations. That's good. I may have to step on toes. I'm not here for them. Yeah, I'm not here for I'm them. I'm not here to dig out any corporate secrets. That's gratifying to hear. I heard there were guests. Has anyone there. unusual <coughs> passed through here recently? Unusual? And a sorry matriarch passed through a few days ago. Lady Benezia. Oh, yep. Benezia. She is here. I need to talk to her. Can I speak with her? Benezia left for the Peak 15 yeah, research figured. complex days ago. To the best of my knowledge, she's still there. Uh, I'll need directions. Could you tell me how to get there? You'll need to ask Administrator Analeas for clearance to leave this port. Uh, where's Analeas? Where can I find the Administrator? His office is on the main level, left at the top of the elevator. All right, Understood. Goodbye. Can we go in now? Of course. If you need any help, you can ask me at the Administrator's office. All right. She is here. I can't believe it. I imagine you want to talk to me, Shepard, about my mother. Uh, don't worry. We talked about her before. Whoops, I didn't mean to click that, change, but I accidentally said something. that. If it's her or me, who would you shoot? I meant what I said before. Her actions are wrong. If you would feel safer leaving me on the Normandy, I will stay. But I would like to see her. Maybe I can persuade her to come peacefully. I want you to come with us. 
I didn't mean to be I rude. So. I meant to say the. I accept your word, Leah. Don't worry, one. Let's get going. <clears throat> Thank you, Shepard. That means a great deal to me. You are welcome. Hi. You are no one. Okay. Let us go. Why is everybody still poisoned? It's concerning. All right. Can we go? What? Hello? Welcome to Port Hanshan, the galaxy's most respected site for independent scientific research and development. Yeah. For your own safety and to protect the privacy of others, <coughs> you are required to obey any directions given by our security personnel. I'll try. If you have questions or concerns, our friendly administrative staff is always available. Uh, of course. Thank they are. you, and enjoy your stay. Okay. Businesswoman, talk. Hmm. The managers warned us about you. Well, fuck off then. Why is everybody such dicks on this island? I don't understand. E R C S guard. What's that? I don't know, but let's go over here first. Merchant Alploid. This one offers greetings. You are the specter that visits Port Hanchan. You heard already? News travels fast here. Indeed, esteemed specter. Your arrival was not greeted with any joy by the companies here. Of course not. This one has a burden that you could ease. If an arrangement could be made, it would compensate you. Um, sure, what is it? This one has procured a special item for a customer. The item is not permitted within the station, but you could bring it through customs. Uh, smuggling in other words. You want me to use my status to smuggle for you? That is not inaccurate. Uh, investigate contents. I won't carry anything if I don't know what it is. <laughs> this one must be discreet. Rest assured, the contents pose no okay, threat if they don't to pose anyone any threat, within that's this okay, port. But, uh, who's the recipient? I want to know where this package is going. This one's customer prefers to remain uh, of anonymous. Course. See it my way, tell me, or I won't help. See it my way. I'd be stupid to do this without knowing I'm not equipping my own enemies. Your words are not unreasonable. The customer is the Krogan called Inamorda. That one is a bounty hunter of some repute and oh, okay. quick to anger. So not a criminal. You understand this one's urgency. That other grows restless from the delay. I see. Um, no, sounds shady. Goodbye. I'll do it. I have no problem with that. This one humbly thanks the Spectre. The package will be delivered to your vessel. All you need do is bring it to this one. Okay. Sounds pretty Please do not mention this to Administrator Analeas. That one would levy... fees. I see. Is there anything else this one might help you with? Uh, no. Goodbye. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. Okay, let's go back to our ship and do that, then. Retrieve the package. You've agreed to help Oploid. His package has been left outside the Normandy in the docking bay. Okay, so let's go get it and then come back. So I'll be right back when we get there, unless something happens. Okay, we're back. It's supposed to be over here by our ship, so we'll see. Our ship is down here, not that one. I always, I, can't, I thought it was that one for some reason, but there's no ship there. Aploid's package. Open. Journal. Now what? Uh, Aploid asked you to help. Yes, I know. Uh, you've recovered Aploid's package. It appears to be a powerful experimental weapon mod. Bring it back to him at his store. Okay. I mean, this guy's a bounty hunter, not a criminal, so I feel a little bit okay giving him weapons or whatever but because so far as I know we don't have any bounties on our heads so he's not a problem to us or anybody else that I know of all right going back in here okay I smuggled your package dude greetings Spectre have you brought the package 
I want to buy something. Who's the recipient? I'm keeping it. Lie, I haven't picked it up. Yes. Here you are. The Spectre has done a great service for this one. From the deepness of light, it thanks you. You're welcome. This one promised compensation for services rendered. It humbly suggests that a sum of 250 credits would be most appropriate. Uh, you needed me. I hope that's a joke. It is. Deal. Or cheap bastard. Uh, you needed me. Would you have had any chance of getting this past customs without me? You can be a bit more generous. The other's words possess the discomforting ring of truth. It is indeed true. <laughs> this one could raise the sum to 500 credits. That is half this one's profit taken by the other. It can offer no more. That's better. That's thoughtful of you. This one is glad to have come to an agreement. Indeed. Goodbye. I'm just browsing right now. This one awaits your return. This one is going to leave now. Before you say this one again. Okay, let's go down here. <clears throat> I'm on duty, Spectre. I shouldn't be talking to you. Then don't talk. All you have to do is not respond. Uh, elevator to hotel, up to the shop, elevator to docking bay. Yeah, we gotta go there. What? Destination. I don't know what that is. Okay. So, this way then? No, this way. Yeah. Can we go in? Yep, we can. Good. I turned down the sound effects to about 50 instead of wherever they were at because it seemed kind of loud in gunfights and stuff. And when I was editing and stuff, it seemed like you guys couldn't hear me very well. No one said anything in How the comments, but then again, that doesn't necessarily mean anything. Um, how can I, how can you help me? Uh, where's Annalise? I'd like to speak to Annalise. <clears throat> One moment, please. Mr. Annalise? Yes, what, what? Commander Shepard is asking to see you, sir. Right, fine, come in. He's a volus, it sounds like. Hi. You will excuse me oh, if no, I don't not. stand he's up. A I have no time to entertain refugees from that urban blight called Earth. You've read my file. I'm a specter. I'll be brief. Watch your mouth. I'll just say I'm a specter. I'm here as a specter, not a human. Keep that in mind. Believe me, that is foremost in my mind. Then shut up. This greeting is a courtesy. I will only cooperate as required by the executive board. Businesses come here to avoid the second guessing of galactic law. Uh, isn't that isn't that a lack of foresight risky? Uh, I'm looking for someone. I'm on a mission. I'm conducting an investigation. It's a matter of galactic security. Yes, isn't everything. I will not allow you to harass our clients. This world is private property. Do you do business with Saren? Agent Saren? One of your Spectre compatriots? He is He's not a major a Spectre investor anymore. in Binary Helix Corporation, which is one of Novaria's backers. Of course he is. Is he developing weapons here? Is Binary Helix developing weapons for him? It's possible, given his interests. What our clients do in their labs is their business. Matriarch Benezia. I've heard an Asari matriarch is here. <coughs> Benezia? She arrived a few days ago, accompanied by a personal escort and some cargo. She's up at peak 15. What sort what of What can cargo? you tell me about her cargo? Large, heavy, and sealed. It passed weapon screening. Beyond that, it is not our concern. Uh, define personal escort. What do you mean, personal escort? The phrase is self-explanatory. Bodyguards attending to the safety of her person, mainly Asari commandos. Commandos? You didn't think that odd? They followed all our regulations. I had no reason to forbid Lady Benezia from taking them. Of course. Uh, why is she here? What brought her out here? If I knew, I wouldn't be at liberty to say. She came here as Agent Saren's executor. Of course. She's here on business for Binary Helix. There were issues at Peak 15 that required Saren's attention. Okay. Uh, I need to see her. I'd like to see her. Immediately. I'm afraid that you cannot. Peak 15 is a private facility in the Scotty Mountains. We'll go there anyway. Regardless, there is a blizzard in the area. Shuttles are grounded and surface access has been cut off. So we drive. 
Surface access, you say? Cut off, I said. The roads are not suitable for travel. Don't make an issue of this, Shepard. I'll Forget make an it, issue of whatever if I want. If he won't help us, I'm sure someone else here will. Uh, another topic, Back to my please. other questions. Every minute of my time you waste costs the I company 12 credits. I will keep a running tally. Goodbye. Tally. I have no more questions at this time. Good. I received a dozen urgent messages while you dithered about. God, you're a dick. It makes me want to shoot you so fucking bad. Anyway, we will continue. Mr. Analeas isn't the only one with a pass to leave Hanchan. Uh, You've huh? never worked in the corporate world, <clears throat> have you, Commander? You can't bludgeon through bureaucracy. I can see that. What do you suggest? Yeah, what All do you right. suggest? What would you do? Talk to Lorik Keen. You should be able to find him at the hotel bar. Can't say more. Not with an earshot of Mr. Analeas. Okay. Talk to you later. Very Thank you. well. Thank you for your help. Somebody not being a dick on this island. That is good. So there's two things here. You need to acquire a pass to leave Port Hanshin. Only Analeas and important managers have them. Okay. And then once we do that, we need to make it to Saren's aid at the peak 15. Okay. So, first things first, we need to go to the hotel. So that would be over here. Elevator to hotel. All right, let's go. Whoops, my keyboard's moving. Sorry. Anyway, uh, so just keep going straight then, and then up here. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, through this door. I'm going to try to go to that little flag first to see what that is. I don't know if I accidentally put that there or if that is uh, like a destination. I don't know. We shall see. I'll be back, though. Well, I couldn't figure out what that was, so I'll be back again when I get to where I'm supposed to be getting to. Okay, we're almost there. Up here. Elevator. Activate. All right. There he is, Lord Quinn. Excuse me. Quinn. I need a moment of your time. Where? You? The male human at the hotel <coughs> bar. He's a sales rep for Inner <coughs> Helix. His Sorry name is that. Raphael Vargas. I need you to speak with him. Um. Sure. Have we met? Do you know who I am? Everyone here knows who you are, Dullstone. <laughs> that makes you ideal for my job. You are a known quantity, or so Vargas will think. He will assume you are here to investigate his company's dirty laundry. That will distract him from your, my, real intentions. Uh, why me? What's this about? Uh, yeah, why me? What's this about? I don't know anything about Binary Helix. What would I talk to Vargas about? I represent the Aramali City Council on Thessia. <coughs> Our town is known for its biotic amp crafters. What is your city's interest in binary helix? They do not manufacture amps. Much of BH's work relates to biotics. There are rumors that the Novaria branch has flown in Asari biotics. Powerful ones. Commandos, to be specific. They do. You want to assess any potential risk to Asari copyrights. I see. You will present yourself as a buyer, on behalf of the Spectres or the Alliance, Discuss their military enhancement programs. Your real objective will be to distract him. I will give you a device that will crack into his personal wireless network. Okay. It will upload a variety of monitoring viruses. They will infiltrate binary <coughs> helix when he logs onto their intranet. Uh, what's my reward? What's in it for me? Money, of course. I would be well paid for this. So would you. 500 credits. Uh, this is illegal. Uh, it is legal, but if I say that, I'm afraid he's going to refuse. So I'll just say I'll do it. Interesting plan. <clears throat> I'm in. Excellent. Here is the cracking device. You will know it is done when it beeps. All I've right. assembled a dossier on Vargas. If you would like, I could brief you on his behavior patterns. Yes, please brief me. Tell me what you know about Vargas. He is impatient with those who waste his time. I tried to get him distracted and off topic. He concluded I was not interested in his company's services. I noticed he has a tell. When a topic makes him nervous or uncomfortable, he has a tendency to rub the back of his neck. I see. If you see that, press him on the subject. It may distract him enough to keep him talking. 
All right, I will. Thanks. Goodbye. I'll go see him oh, now. There's a timer. I hope to hear from you soon. I will not go see him now because that was the timer. So in the next episode, we will continue this corp corporate espionage we're getting ourselves into and see where it takes us and see if we can track down those people and talk to Benezia. I want to thank you all for watching and if you like what you see I suggest you subscribe to my channel so you can see the new videos I post every single day and if you really like the videos I'd really like it if you could leave a thumbs up and a comment that way I could have some interaction on my channel and know that people are actually watching and actually care and if you want to know when I post my videos exactly when I post them the best way to do that is to turn on your notifications as well. Talk to y'all later. Bye bye.